Hello, good morning, everyone. How are you? It's great to have you back in the room. People are slowly joining. Hi, Gwendal. Hi, my, hi Milene. It's great to see you. <laughs> so we are here to open the 31st NOSDAV workshop, right? And the 26th packet video together. <laughs> um, so it's my pleasure to, to be here on site to, to host you and support you. And we have online um, my co-chairs, Milene and, and Gwendal. Milena joining from all the way from Brazil and, and Gwendal joining all the way from France. <laughs> um, so we'll, we're, we're going to just introduce, you know, we're going to talk about our experience um, chairing um, the, the program committee for, for, for NOSTAV this year. And then we're just going to move um, directly to the first, um, you know, a technical session. So do you, do you guys want to say hi? Can, can you do a mic check? <laughs> yeah, no, hi. Uh, sorry Good for morning, not being... everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so can, can we can we have also the, the slides? Yeah? Great. So I'm just going to, you know, show you some slides of how nice Istanbul is. <laughs> and what a lovely time we have had here. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm just send, sending you guys a, a bunch of, you know, of the experience we had here. Uh, so th today in the opening, we're just going to run quickly through, you know, our, our experience, as I said. Um, just going to overview what we, what we implemented this year for, for the review process. Um, I'm gonna, we're gonna walk you through the technical program we have installed for you and then how we're gonna run all the sessions and, you know, uh, leave floor to our wonderful speakers. So a huge, um, thank you here to our, um, technical program committee. Um, this literally couldn't have happened without our program committee and we are so deeply grateful um, for, for all their work and their constructive, um, you know, feedback that they had for all the authors and their commitment to this community. So do you guys want to add something, Gwendal, Elena? Oh, no, no, I mean, you, you, you said well, the, <laughs> I think everyone <laughs> contributed very well and the discussion were quite fruitful and, uh, extensive. I mean, the quality of the reviews were generally high, so it's uh, it's um, good when we can see involvement from the community in improving the paper and having this uh, uh, good conversation, scientific conversation around papers. Yeah, so, so uh, thank you again so much. Yeah, the same for me. I think the process went really well and we had excellent reviews and in you know, a very nice interaction with all the reviews and the med and the RTF members that we're probably going to talk next. <laughs> Great. Um, so this year, we actually, you know, talking with, with Milena and with Gwendal, we actually thought, you know, about bringing this idea of a review task force um, to, to the way we selected papers. And this was essentially um, an idea that we, we saw in other communities, in the security community, you know, IMC last year also implemented in the measurements community. Um, and we asked a bunch of our friends, um, you see here, Karsten, Christian, Clara, Mohammed, Veitang, um, we've asked them to help us, um, you know, overview the, the review process. They were, they were essentially reviewing the reviews. <laughs> So they um, helped us ensure, you know, that the reviews are very good quality. They're always constructive because, you know, given this challenging times we are, we are traversing, it's always nice to be mindful and to always keep in, uh, keep in mind that, you know, people are um, looking for, for constructive feedback in these venues. So we want to thank um, the review task force. And overall, I think it was a very... Uh, good experience having having them engaged uh, with the with the community. Yeah, um, each of them brought uh, he or her um, view about what is the uh, the 
reviewed of reviewing. Uh, some of them actually reviewed the paper. Some of them um, focus on the uh, discussion part. And um, they also had a role in writing the um, uh, summary of the paper, which appears in the PDF of the of the paper. So it was a kind of a different involvement, a kind of hierarchical reviewing process, which was uh, interesting to see in in I mean, to observe and to um, it helps us to understand better what what is the review and how we can organize to make it as fair and as uh, exciting as possible great so just to move to the reviewing process and i hear i'm gonna um, hand it over to to gwendal because we also innovated here so we innovated with the review task force and the open reviews that they contributed but we also review we also innovated with um, you know, the, the way that we organized basically the submission uh, process. So, Milena, yeah, so we, not, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. we implemented this uh, dual uh, submission uh, process that is also um, under consideration in many um, other communities. Uh, it's, it, it tries to, I mean, to close the gap between the uh, journal process, which has a um, lot of advantages in terms of quality of scientific reviewing and, uh, the, and to the improvement of the, of the papers, and the conference uh, reviewing process, which uh, aims at um, having a consistent program as fast as possible. And so we, we, we came up with this um, dual uh, submission with a first deadline from which it was possible to accept immediately some papers which were excellent, to also say to some people, okay, no, it will be a, a reject, and I'm afraid it will not be possible to have it in NOSDAF because it's probably off topic or because it lacks some, some uh, critical uh, um, element that we uh, ask for any paper in, in NOSDAF, and to also uh, say to some people, well, your paper is good, uh, that it would require a bit of revision if we want to meet the standards of, uh, of uh, NOSDAF. And so with this first, um, 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 first phase of reviewing, it was possible for the authors to hopefully improve the paper and they had uh, some good feedback as early as possible. And so in the end, it was possible to resubmit to the second deadline. And then in that case, uh, it, the process was fair and it was accept or reject as as usual. Vinat, you have a very good timeline in the next slide, which may explain again what what was it. Uh, we have in the second phase, a blue phase, we had the uh, the uh, I mean we had a first reviewing phase during the uh, in in December January and we had a second reviewing phase in uh, March. So it was overall something which we wanted to implement because it it's, uh, may improve the um, the quality of the papers that we receive. And in the end, I think it works pretty well. It's a lot of work for the chairs and for the uh, for for the reviewers, but uh, we try we try to find some compromise, some trade off to not overload the reviewers. And well, we we, we will be able to. Uh, um, yeah check with them once to do this yeah so i think it was absolutely successful and here um we, we we just wanted to thank the authors and thank everybody who actually um submitted a, a paper um and i don't know milena if you want to walk us through how many papers we got and how many we accepted sure so this this uh, like Gwenda was saying like this was uh scary at moments in a way, right? Because we implementing this for the first time, we were a little bit worried of how 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 was how many papers we would go get in each phase. So it was a little bit uh, new. But actually I think we did pretty well. We got like we got five uh, 52 submissions and it, I think the, the papers were very varied and, and you can see by these, by the reviewers, you know, we've got interesting reviews and comments and diversity. And it, overall, we got 15 accepted papers that we are going to see today in the meeting. And 
interestingly enough, we got five papers from that first round of reviewers, which uh, this was a, a tricky balance for this first time, and 10 papers uh, from the, in the second review. And there were a couple of res, uh, resubmissions over there that finally got accepted. So, so we, I think overall was a very interesting um, experience. And I, I think as a, as a tryout on NOSDAP, which is a smaller uh, conference, but it's something that I think could be repeated on a larger scale also. So absolutely, totally agree. And, um, you know, it was, it was, as you said, well said, a, a huge amount of work and it was sometimes scary for us as chairs, but we did manage to put together, I think, a program that we are very proud of. Um, we have four exciting sessions uh, for you today, so you can see the breakdown um, here. You know, we're going to start uh, with yet, yet another streaming session just right after um, we're, we're done here with, uh, with the opening. Um, so I just wanted to, you know, bore you with some details that I've been <laughs> boring you with <laughs> throughout the conference. Um, presentations will be live. Each paper will have a 20 minute slot and we recommend 17 minutes for presentations, three minutes for Q and A. Um, people who are here on, on site, you know, if you have questions, queue up to the mics and we'll, we'll make that work. Uh, if you're joining the session via the conference website, please, you know, um, ask your questions, post your questions um, on the tool, and we're going to read them um, uh, for you to, to the speakers. So I, I, st I have a quick overview of all the papers, uh, but because I guess you're going to see them in each of the sessions, I don't know, maybe we can, we can skip this part. I don't know. What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah. yeah, let's 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 go for the scientific uh, stuff as fast as possible. Right. <laughs> so <Agreed>. then um <laughs> basically I just wanted to to thank you and to especially to thank uh Gwendal and Milene because they have been extremely patient specifically with me because it was the first time I was sharing something in this community. I'm coming from a a different community. I'm I'm you know, networks and measurement. Uh, so they have been very patient with me um, and it has been such a great experience and you guys have been so welcoming, so I cannot thank you enough. And obviously being here, um, you know, in a hybrid conference after everything we've gone through <laughs> as human beings, but also, you know, as, as professionals, I think it has been very challenging. So it's extremely gratifying to, to be here and to hear this wonderful talks and and to see the the hard work that people have been you know pouring into this community and the support that we got from the from the technical program committee and from our review task force and the steering committee and the local organizers and the many many people the the guys who have made this a very a nice and seamless event so thank you so much um everyone and thank you Gwendal and thank you Milene So if you guys don't have anything to say, we can just um, move to the first yeah, I session. I have one thing I think. I, uh, yeah, first please of all, go ahead. Thank you. And it is so nice that you are here. You're there representing us. So I envy you. <laughs> and I, uh, on, a, on a small note, I'd like to thank Ellie for the, all the suggestions on the titles of the uh, sessions, which I truly enjoyed. <laughs> so with the nicknames and everything. So thank you, Ali. And I. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we can conclude our, you know, opening remarks here with a massive hug for you guys. We owe you like a bunch of lukum and, you know, like some wonderful food. <laughs> we'll send some pictures <laughs> right now. <laughs> we are missing you a lot. So hopefully next year we can all be together. Um, yeah, so let's move. Um, a, a huge applause, you know, to, to our wonderful program committee again and to all the authors. And, you know, we're, we're, looking, for, we're looking forward to, to all the talk.